Good morning, I'm Travis Guillory. And I'm Corey Duke, and here are your top stories from Two Works For You. Arrest warrants were issued for two former Delaware County detention officers accused of wrongfully tasing inmates several times. Charles Hayes and Shelly Mayberry are facing multiple counts of assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. They're no longer working at the jail. Court documents show five inmates in the time say that at the jail said that they were harassed multiple times. The family of a McAllister taxi driver is increasing the reward after their loved one was killed. Dustin Parker's family is now offering $20,000 for information leading to an arrest or a conviction. Someone shot and killed the Rover taxi driver on New Year's Day while he was waiting to pick up a customer. Someone was brought in for questioning following the murder, but no arrests have been made. And Spirit Aerosystems has notified state officials it plans to lay off about 130 workers at its McAllister plant. The company also says there will be layoffs in Tulsa, but the number has not been announced. The cutbacks are because of production on the Boeing 737 MAX airliner, and it's suspended, and Spirit produces parts for the plane. Now, the company is also laying off about 2,800 workers at its headquarters in Wichita. Now, let's get a check of today's forecast from meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. All right, well, we are tracking a couple of snow flurries for this morning in areas to the east and northeast of Tulsa winter weather advisory until 9 a.m. today. Otherwise, this afternoon remaining dry, seeing a gradual clearing taking place here in northeast Oklahoma with highs rising into those lower 40s for today. Winds out of the north throughout the afternoon. Your evening commutes looking good. Temperatures falling into the upper 30s by 6 p.m. and they're partly cloudy skies. Winds still going to be around 10 miles per hour out of the northwest at that time. For the week ahead, we're seeing temperatures more mild as we head into the weekend. A high of 51 for your Saturday. Showers start as we head into the overnight hours, rolling over into the start of your Sunday, clearing by later Sunday evening into your Monday, where we're rising in two of those upper 50s. Another chance for rain arrives as we head into your Tuesday, clearing up by the end of next week. All right, thanks Kerrigan, and thank you for tuning in to this digital news update. Keep checking back for more updates all throughout the day. And be sure to join Karen Larson and Mike Brooks tonight at 5, 6, and 10 on Two Works For You.